Hey what's going on guys hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another tutorial so in this video I'm gonna explain you how you can delete the record from the database right so first we will create the API using Laravel and then we can we can test the API using Postman and the third thing we can do is we can uh, we can request from the Exios as a library HTTP library and with the help of library we can uh, use the delete request to delete the data right so let's jump in first into your uh, Visual Studio Code and I have my Visual Studio Code already open, right? If you have watched my previous video, you can continue right from this next one, right? So here you could see that my VS Studio, Visual Studio Code is already open and I have run my server running already. So if I just want to show you, the first one is my PHP Artisan server where my server is running. And on the plus, you can click on that plus that that's going to open up the new terminal. But here I have already running my second server and make sure that you have your npm run dev should be running. So that's going to be uh, uh, I already have run this, uh, but you can run it again, right? Uh, in order to see the updated changes, right? Um, so first thing as I explained that what, what I'm going to do here is to first create the API, right? So what I'm going to do here is let's first go into your app and then go to your HTTP and go to your controllers and the contact control. That's where you see that we have all our uh, methods that we have defined. We have our get contacts method. We have our save underscore contact method where we can save the data. And now we have delete, right? So then the last thing that we are left with is the uh, update option, right? So now we have to start next with the delete option. So here I'm going to write my very function, uh, first function. So public function and the name of the method is delete contact. And uh, here I'm going to pass here the contact ID, right? So what I'm going to, what actually it means, I need to delete a specific racket, right? So I need the ID from the route. So first thing you need to do is to go to your route and just write the, uh, and just pass the, uh, the URL and the method. So I have used API.php as I explained that my previous video that if you use, uh, if you work with the web.php, uh, then you can have, then you find the issues that because of the middleware production, but there, there is a way that you can work with the web.php, but you have to define things here inside your verify csrf token where you have to define the method or you can pass a url which is another way which i will uh, which i'm not going to explain this video but if things are working with the api.php which is i believe is a recommended way uh so you can work with the uh, uh, so you have to uh, put your all the urls inside your api.php and i already explained everything in in my previous video right all right so now I'm going to do here is to pass the route. So we have our get context, we have our save context, and now the, uh, we have our delete uh, con contact, right? API for it. So a D L E T, right? Okay, so here I'm going to pass here the route for the delete uh, request. And here I'm going to pass my URL as a delete contact and uh, as i explained because i need to delete the specific record so i need to pass up an id here and um, uh, and now next thing I, I need to have my controller name which is contact controller and the name of the method which in my case is delete contact which i just confirmed from here right yeah so it's delete contact right so now we have our, a route for the API and next thing I'm going to do here is to define my contact ID, right? So what I'm going to do is to create a variable and let's use here contact as a model and find the ID. So I'm using here eloquent. So if you need to find the ID because you need to delete the specific, uh, uh, specific record from the database, for example, if I need to delete this uh, row one with the ID one, I need to have its ID required. So that's why I need to uh, bring my contact table and, and find the ID, which is passing from the URL, which I need to delete. And now if that, and now just simply a condition that I need to pass here, if that contact is delete, let's use here a method with the name of delete, uh, very simple, right? 
and uh, now let's pass up a response so very simple return response in json format and let's pass here the keys and values because we need to display that those uh, messages on our front end like we did here in the previous uh, video that where i have uh, showed the status and the message of when once the form is submitted successfully like here right so just like here i'm gonna pass my status let's pass here that if the status is true and uh, I need to pass up a message once something is deleted there that that's that's a good approach that you can show up the message to so let's uh, set that to be contact deleted successfully all right and uh, in the other case definitely if, if things are not working in our case so you can just copy that and bring it bring this down right here and that's in in that case if something went wrong so let's set that to be uh, something went wrong all right so we are good to go from here and uh, our API is you know, our method is created successfully now let's test with the postman I have my postman open already so I'm gonna open up with the new tab and we have the request of delete request so let's pass up here in a uh, route so 127 and the port number so let's set that to be slash uh, so here in my case if I go to my api.php we have the delete contact with the ID so what I'm gonna do here is slash and let's delete the record number two the response and it says that contact deleted successfully so let's uh, look at our on a database and you see the record is deleted successfully right so that means our API is working fine for us right so let's go back to our code and close that all because we have tests with the API now the next thing we have is to go to our components and uh, so all I'm going to do is to go to my resources JS and we have our components and inside the contact list uh, dot view that's where you can see that we have our delete button already here created here a very basic delete button now in that delete option we can pass up the uh, some click even so how we can pass the click even click even inside the uh, view so what I'm gonna do is there is an another directive which is known as click right so I'm using here click once it's clicked so we need to stop so I'm going to use here prevent equal to and next thing we need to do is to define a method so let's define a method with the name of delete contact and I'm gonna pass here an ID because we need to delete on base of ID we need to delete the specific record right and that's all for here and let's go down inside here and save it so we have defined here already we have load the data once something loads so we have a created uh, we have a created here and then we have our load data where we are getting all the records from uh, from the database and next thing uh, just under the methods because we are defining a new method here so just after the load data I'm going to define another method with the name of delete contact which I created above right so let's create here delete contact <clears throat> All right, and as I explained, we are already passing up an ID. So let's give it here an ID. And just after that, you need to pass here a URL equal to, uh, in order to access the URL. So I need to type a this dot URL. And this URL is actually coming from the query selector, right? As I uh, shown you that if I go up to my welcome dot plate, um, that should be, uh, views and welcome dot play dot php so, so that that's where i have defined my url so this is the url which is the base url which is 120 localhost port number 8000 right so what i did here is just under the methods of new method that i just created delete contact so this dot url let's concatenate that and the name uh, and the api that we are passing which is slash api slash delete contact right and uh, we are also passing up an id so what i'm going to do here is to just use here dollar uh that should be uh, uh inside the let's use the back ticks here right so i'm using here es6 standard so you have to use here back ticks right makes sense to you if you have if you if you're still confused about the javascript yeah i want to make a new updated video on it which i plan for the 2021 and uh i, I believe that you can uh, even watch my videos about JavaScript. Some of them have been done. 
so there are the great resources that you can find on the internet so you can also get help from there right so this dot axios dot delete which is a delete request delete method so i'm going to create here pass up the url that i need to delete and then we have to pro use the promise so dot 10 let's get the response so and uh, here inside that i have to check if the response of the status because we are getting the response which we are passing from the controller so I, i'm going to show you that actually if you're confused still so this response start status is coming from that we pass to our contact contact controller so we are we check the status if the status is true let's pass the message that contact delete is successfully so if the response start status if it means that if it's true so what i'm going to do here just like i did here in my um uh if i can show you my add contact that if something is uh submit successfully so this is going to show me a message which i have created custom message uh so you can uh, using the uh, something which is known as the suite alerts which i have um, already installed so just grab this right and uh, you can just put that right here and check on your controller yeah it's with the uh, um, yeah that's fine right so in case if it's a success message right uh, let's go to your ad contact right that's fine okay so if that utils this is this is basically the utilities which I already passed in my app dot JS so I I basically passed these utilities and created a folder and um, with the help of prototype we passed it here and that's how we can uh, we can import and we can work with the suite alerts that's the uh, way I have generated you can watch my previous video if you are still not familiar about how this actually is coming from here right so uh, then in the other case if that is not if, it, if the message is not successful due to some network errors or internet issues so that's where I pass up here an error message, which I should say that, um, which this is not the show success, so this should be a show error, right? So these methods are coming from the helpers, utilities.js. So these are the two methods that I created, right? So if I just save it, and uh, I believe uh, we are very much it. But I need to do one more stuff. I need that if once if something is deleted successfully, I need to call my function, right? So just uh, you need to grab this load data. Even you can grab the uh, whole. Uh, so once everything is successfully deleted, so you can call the function, which is the sh load data, which is actually getting the uh, the get request and show the results on the page, right? So here I need to run npm run dev before I should go. So let's type here npm run dev and I hope so there is check if, if there's something is everything is working fine. So we are good to go. Let's open up my console. Go to my home page refresh this and uh, let's go to the add contact which is fine let's go to your contact list which is fine but i have only one record i need to delete two rows so let's create an add contact here right so let's define something here let's define your test and uh, submits that which is working fine and now if i go to my contacts we have two records let's try to delete that right i click on the delete and it says something is wrong. Actually, the spellings are wrong. It says reference error response. All right, so yeah, this should be a response. All right, so let's run that again. All right, so let's go to the home page and refresh this and go to your contacts. And now it's deleted already, right? But it was showing the error because the message was actually not displayed because that was the issue on showing the message. Rather, it should have an error on our API that we are getting, right? 
uh, to call it, right? So let's create another one and uh, test this out, right? So let's do a test and choose the file, something else, and submit that. This is gonna show us the message, go to your contact. Now we have two records, let's see. Now if I just click on the delete and you see that it shows us the successful message and our record is deleted successfully. So I hope you guys learned a lot from here and if you are really interested to learn more, so don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel and I wanna show you the next step, the next thing we are gonna do here is to bring here an added button and once you click on the added button, it's gonna display us the form that we have according all the data that we are you can see on your database that's going to display on the added functionality and added form and the last video will be about how we can update right so thank you for watching and i want to see you in the next video